Let's check out two of the major update in Fucus version 2.5, Enhance. Before that, make sure to update Fucus. I have a 2 minutes video titled Fucus Shop Working, where I had showed a simple way to update. So, first, I will take the Enhance option, which is in between Input Image and Advance. Our subject will be, Woman wearing white t-shirt standing on a road alone. We got the image, now we need to add this image in the input image section to work with it. Enhance tab, and get the image from above. And we also need the enhance options for the image. But wait, before this, I must explain what happens if we just use only the enhance option. The upscale and variation functionality and this, enhance 1, 2 and 3. All this function will work in a sequential order in the process of image generation. Keeping the video short, enhancing an existing image should cover this as well. So, this is a case where we already have an image looking for enhancement. To do so, the first section we see is upscale and variation. Let's assume I am looking to upscale the image by 1.5 times the original image. The second feature we see is order of processing with two options before and after enhancement, which means upscaling before the enhancements or after the enhancements. We can see the upscale variation followed by three stage of enhancements. So if we select before first enhancement, it will be upscale by 1.5 before the first enhancement. The pixel in the image will be increased before the enhancement starts working on it. This results having more pixels and larger canvas to work with, and also makes the image more detailed. If I select, after the last enhancement, the image will be enhanced or modified within its original resolution, which may be less, then it will be upscaled or will be sent for variations. As per my testing, Variations should be created out of enhanced images for the best results. That is second option. An enhancement should be done at the highest possible resolution by selecting the first option. In this example, we are looking for enhancement. This enhancement is not enabled yet. Adding values to the respective enhancement section will not have any effect on the result. I will open the original image in a separate tab for comparison. In enhancement, the first value is detection prompt, that is, what do we want to be enhanced? I will select I from the below examples. Next is the positive prompt for the enhancement. Let's write beautiful eyes. Note that the detection prompt should be singular. It should not be like eyes. For negative prompt, I can keep it empty. Next is the tool which detects what we had asked in detection prompt. There are multiple models for detection. This is good for detecting clothes. This is for human detection. I have not tried all of them, still learning. Next there are more models. I think this is the image encoder, where B is the base variant, then the large and third is huge, which takes 16 by 16 patch size. I am learning this stuff. The last section here is in paint. I should close this. It looks one and the same. In paint method I will select here as improve details. I had explained the in paint methods in my previous videos and will suggest to watch once. I will let the below options be their default for this example, but I should select the latest in paint engine. We are done with one of the enhancements, we got two more options where we can specify the enhancement if we want. I will show you one more enhancement for this example. Let's target the t-shirt. My prompt will be an orange t-shirt and will keep the negative prompt empty. The tool responsible for selecting the area, as I mentioned, this is for selecting clothes. 
This model asks for some additional information like full, or body, or lower body. I will select upper, because I just want to change the top. Now, add in paint, because we want it to change from a white t-shirt to an orange t-shirt. We should select modified content. The other options are fine. The third enhancement, I will not be using. I think this will be enough for the example. Let's generate the image. It is upscaling the image first, you can see here. Upscaling is done, next should be enhancement of eyes. And then white t-shirt becomes orange. Let me open all the images. Our original image is in the first tab. And others will follow as per our image sequence. The original image and the upscaled image. There is a noticeable change in size of image. Also, the image looks better if we zoom. The changes in eye is very subtle. The eyes have details to it. If we look in the upscaled one, the black part of the eye looks like a patch of black color. In the enhanced version, the black area has details and a shine to it. In the third image, we got enhanced eyes with the orange t-shirt. The eyes are exactly the same as in the second version of enhanced eyes. Let's see how the selection happens for enhancement. There is an option in advanced section. Check the developer debug mode. Go to the in paint tab. Check the second option named debug enhance mask. This will let you see what was selected by the model SAM for enhancement. The first image on the right is the upscaled image, and next to it is a mask created for enhancement by the detection model SAM, which stands for segment anything model. The mask is used for the in paint process of improving the details in eyes. The U2 net cloth is selecting the cloth on the upper body for in paint where we have instructed to modify details of the t-shirt. The in paint is now using the mask, generated by the cloth model, to change the t-shirt. So, this is how the new workflow of enhancement is. Creating a mask from an image and enhancing the details. Let's move to the second major change. The in paint has a new option. I will upload the same image which we used, to upscale and enhance. The new option is, enable advanced masking features. As per my previous video, I showed how we manually select areas for improvement, in this case, it's the subject's eye. Next, selecting the in paint method as improved details. Lastly adding prompts as beautiful eyes, and hit generate. We can still enhance the same way and get results. I will keep this for comparison in a separate tab. So, the eye has been changed if compared to the original image. Let me remove the selection I did here, and I will try to enhance the same using advanced masking features. The panel in the right side has an option to upload a mask, if we have, may be created by using Photoshop or some other application. The tool responsible for detection, we saw earlier, is the same here as well. We need to select a suitable model for our use case. Detection prompt, that is a singular word, and I. Next, the advanced option, same as we saw before, for selecting an image encoder which has a vision transformer of three sizes. I will keep it the base model. So, let's generate the mask. The mask is ready. Now hit generate to see the results. I will open the image in a new tab to compare. Here is the image of masking eyes, and the original image eyes. I think masking eyes are better because, in paint selection done manually was not perfect. It has also changed the area around the eyes. Masking feature, had worked on eyes with high level of precision. Keeping areas around the eyes as it is, 